Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, I'm Brendan Lee. In this video, I want to tell you about a phenomenon that I've noticed when people, as people are trying to become more conscious, something that's, again, getting in the way, something to look out for and consider for yourself and your own efforts. I do not have a name for this phenomenon, so I'm not going to give you one. <laughs> Maybe we can make up a name later. Um, but likely the name itself would fall victim to the same phenomenon as as it progresses and basically what it is is as I'm watching um, well let me, let me back up here Peter used to have a student back in his old school like before I ever got on the scene and his student loved organization he loved to have everything mapped out and organized and very neat right so whatever organized I never met him but that, that's the story I heard and Peter would say stuff and there would be terms and descriptions and um, all kinds of language about the material and this guy would have it all mapped out and then at some point Peter would would change it he would say okay this word that I'm using for this no longer using that and then he would change it and this guy would go bonkers like why you can't change it why can't blah, 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 blah. cuz now he had to reorganize all the stuff like all that work he did is just now <laughs> null and void or whatever the organization and he said you can't change it and Peter's like uh, yes I can because I just did and I didn't quite understand why like oh yeah why change it why why this something to do with language about the things and fast forward to now you know, you know right about now and I was facilitating workshops and watching people struggle with this material and noticing that there's this term we use right it's there's a term bottom lines it's like a term for looking into your experience of yourself to discover what's really going on there and we call it like bottom line contemplation I was seeing people work with this bottom line right words and getting fixated so here's the the phenomenon I'm talking about talking about They'd fixate on the bottom line as probably a concept they have about what they hear and mistake the concept for the thing. And so then bottom line, you know, I would say, hey, work on your bottom lines and then watch carefully. And as a facilitator, watch carefully what happens and see, wait a minute, they're, they're off. They're missing their in a trap and they don't realize and so I stopped using that terminology this last retreat I started I'm, I've been taken to breaking up the terminology and luckily which is cool that we actually have often we'll have an international attendance so we've got people from different countries ergo different languages they speak many different languages so I'm like alright what's this in your language and what's this in your language and we hear these different sounds referencing the same thing to try to rip people off the sound and avoid this trap that I'm talking about, this concept trap, if you will. You know, you know, mistaking the concept for the thing. And so then now I see why Peter would go down these roads, you know, with his old student there who's got these things fixed and then say, no, unfix them. And then you might think, as I thought about the student, it's like, oh man, now he's got to do all this extra work, and why not let him have it organized? Well, isn't it just a word? Or what, what do you, why are you messing with the language? And I think if people are thinking along these terms, as perhaps I was, you don't understand what you're talking about. Which is to say, you probably don't facilitate people or try to get them to get this stuff for real. And it, it's, when I see something's not working as best I can, I switch, change, or modify what I'm doing so that I can get through, right? And that's the challenge of the, that's a big challenge for myself and when people are working on this stuff. And it seems to me that the tendency for just people as a whole is to make up concepts about 
what they have and confuse the concepts for the thing itself. And we get lost in that, especially in maybe spiritual work, consciousness work, um, having insights and breakthroughs. I suspect this even happens in science. Religion's just fucked. <laughs> and they never started with an experience. It's all a belief. Um, in terms of grasping stuff like this, they would just believe what is said, right? So why, when I look at other spiritual communities or look at what other people are promoting online, then they have a many, many followers. It looks to me like, and you know, uh, have a fifth dimensional thinking. And then people believe in fifth dimensional thinking and probably think that what they think fifth dimensional thinking is, is what it is, rather than whatever it is. And believe stuff about it, or we're all ascending toward a higher consciousness. Yeah? Do you believe that? just because somebody said it, and or, oh, you have a consciousness, you are nothing, so then people make some shit up about being nothing, and then confuse the shit they made up with the nothing, like the reality. And they don't realize that they've made it up and fixated on the made-up thing. You know? Like, there's a quote that Peter will say, I was on like the old website, something like, <laughs> in essence, you're fucked if you do and fucked if you don't. In order to teach somebody something, you have to give what you're talking about a name. But as soon as you give it a name, the people fixate on the name and likely the concepts as if that's the thing that you're talking about. And the fixation is strong. But if you don't give them a name, then they're just lost in empty space, you see? So it's like, how do we, we need a way to focus. You know, and I, again, I paraphrase that quote, it's something like that. And say you're working on enlightenment, right? Now right away, this is like a hot button word. You got to be very careful what, you know, what am I saying when I say enlightenment versus what do you think it is? See, what do I mean? What am I talking about? And so I give the name to give a direction. But don't get stuck on the name. Enlightenment is just a word. It's a sound, right? Then there's, then there's an experience to be had or whatever. You know, enlightenment. There's not an experience, but that doesn't matter. There's something to get. Kind of like, kind of like you could do this with me, right? You read a book about riding a bike. Is that anything like riding a goddamn bike? No. I tell you about riding a bicycle. I use all the words. I use all the right words and all the intellectual thought. And then there's riding the damn bike. Those are in two completely different worlds. Extrapolate out to everything else. I could tell you about martial arts. I could tell you about punching and dodging and moving if it's boxing or striking. I could tell you about throwing, right? And then there's the dodging and the moving and the getting hit. Totally different. Becoming conscious. There's what is said about becoming conscious. There are the descriptors that are used. There's the representation of the experience to be had right there for you. All the song and dance is there. And then there's you becoming conscious. Not what you think about it. Not what you feel about it. Not what you make up about it. Not your perspective about it. But it. You see how much that's like not your shit? Not what you do. It's what's true. Hmm? Well, you see how easy it is to get lost in the thinking about it, right? Ah, you can become conscious. See, listen, ready? Watch what happens. You can get conscious. You can free yourself from a lot of bullshit that you're attached to, and you are attached to a lot of things. You could have a direct consciousness of your true nature, and you would experience sudden freedom, likely, and a massive state shift, likely, and you would have a deeper understanding of your own nature, and you're infinite. 
<laughs> now, all that bullshit I just said, did you grasp that for real when I said it? Do you now have an experiential understanding of what I just said that is not a concept? That is not a, an experience, like a, um, it's not a perception you're having, but it's the thing itself. Did you suddenly have a sudden increase in consciousness of your nature when I said that? If no, then all you've got is concepts about it. And I'm still talking about something that you could grasp, something real. And yet, the concepts reign king or queen or whatever the fuck. You see, the concepts are the thing. What you think about it is what falls into your attention easily. But what you think about it is not what it is. It never was. See, and yet I have to use a language, some representation to try to communicate something to you. I have, I'm trying to get something across, so I do the shit, right? Talking, sound, video, whatever. Do you get it? You see, there's this, it's the getting it part that I think is missed. And people seem to confuse their concepts about grasping something, or what they feel about grasping something, or what they some state shift about becoming conscious and they confuse all the shit they have that happens to with the thing and it's not the thing it's not what we're after it's not the truth it's not what's going on it's just stuff right so this is something to look out for so yeah brendan well what do you do about that well one recognize it's a possibility Two, be honest with yourself and notice when you're working. Like, get brutally honest. Like, stop fucking around kind of honest. The kind of honesty that, like, kicks your ass, you know? <laughs> that, that rakes your mind over the coals. It evaporates all the lies that you live with. And you live with a ton, I am sh certain. How do I know? <laughs> so you live in this world that you think is real without knowing the truth, and then you just buy, you just, whatever comes to mind when I say something, or like your teacher says something, whatever comes to mind, you likely confuse whatever comes to mind with the thing. When it comes to becoming conscious, that seems to be the norm. And so, then you're like, what do I do? Well, one, get brutally honest. Two, get more honest, and be like, and what do I really grasp for real about this? Three, open up to a possibility of becoming conscious. And what this is, is a... <sighs> open up to the possibility of you grasping something. And when I say grasp, I mean get it. Have an insight. Make a breakthrough. This is a non-intellectual, sudden, huh, about some matter. Whether it's a direct consciousness understanding more deeply how some the relative nature of something or how something in the world works you ah you get it yeah and if you've ever got stuff got stuff before you know there's a quality of like a sudden understanding about it or a new understanding that is not like a not just spinning your fucking wheels which like we have some guys here and you know, at least one of them I can see, it's like he just spins his wheels, but he doesn't realize he's just stuck in his own world. Or, we, or it reminds me of a, another guy we had at a workshop once, and man, he was so locked into his intellectual world that he couldn't think outside of it, and he had no idea. All right, This motherfucker had no idea that he was lost. And as a facilitator, I'm mean, like, I can't... There's no permission for physical violence, so that just takes that off the table, right? So I can't, I can't go slap him around, which I think is what it really needs at that point. Like a little bit, you know, you know, shake up the body a bit. Whoa, like fuck. Like, hey, you know you're in your mind. Like, yeah, well, it's a concept. And then you bang, slap him. Is that a concept? Oh, fuck. There's this other thing going on, right? Like you can't fuck with that. Like, oh, yeah, I'm so smart. Oh, my intellect is so powerful. Oh, yeah? 
riddle me this one. Like Mike Tyson, he's like, everyone's got a plan until you get punched in the face. See, because there's something else going on. See, but he was lost. And then so, okay, anyway, I went on a sidebar there. He was totally lost. And then what do I do? Aside from getting physical. You know, apparently as Zen guys, they, they would hit each other with sticks and shit and punch each other. I can see why. Because this has likely been a problem from the beginning, a long time ago, you know. It's, and it's easy to fall into this trap of the concepts dominating, like think, mistaking the concepts for the thing itself. And so you try to break it up a bit or say things to confuse the mind on purpose, to shake it up a little bit or, you know, just shake up the thinking. So now I suspect this guy who's here at the workshop he is, he is so locked into his intellect like that. I mean, it's great for cocktail parties. Don't get me wrong. I love an intellectually stimulating conversation. These are fantastic. Love it. Totally fun. You know, but it doesn't really uh, hold a candle to this other stuff in that sense. You know, actually grasping something about which then you can intellectualize or write the book yourself. You write the book. See, that's all an intellectual, like, here, let me describe stuff and help try to point people in a direction. Blah, 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 blah. See? But at least it's backed up by a genuine experience. I bet this guy's going to take it to his grave. He's lost. Completely lost in that. At some point, I was just like, fuck it, okay. Be in there. I don't... You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna hang on to that so stubbornly, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push the matter. You know, I mean, I'll push it as far as I can, but fuck it. At some point, it's like fuck it. So then, now you're on your own. So another thing that I think is beneficial for others is, and this is probably the main thing, the the ultimate, <laughs> the main ultimate fucking thing you can do. And also really a huge thing is to realize if you want to become conscious, it's on you. It's you. It's your consciousness. You becoming con- Like no teacher can do that for you. No book can do that for you. No nothing can do it for you. Same with learning anything. There is no fucking force on God's earth (laughs) that can get you to do shit you don't want to do. Nothing. You know, I mean, maybe we could torture you and you'd be very motivated, but likely you just would, you know, it wouldn't work. And again, still, if you don't want to do it, it ain't happening. So I think something very powerful for people to do is to realize that they're responsible. They are the ones that have to fucking take the action. They are the ones that have to get conscious. Like Buddha didn't sit around waiting for a teacher to tell him what the fuck. He studied with teachers, I hear tell, and surpassed them. Quickly, I heard. Now, what kind of a student does that? You sit down, he's probably like, I'm going to fucking get this. I'm going to figure out what the fuck's going on here. Me, not you tell me, me tell me. Some shit like that, right? You You see the push. As far as I can tell, anybody who's accomplished things like that, it's like they, they get their fucking ass in gear and they make it happen. Like, you know, I've seen the shit on, I've seen all kinds of videos online, right? The Instagram person, they're fat, they, they, they make a goddamn decision. I am tired of living this way. Boom. And they make the change and nobody, other people might follow them, but they're fucking going for it. You want to get conscious? It's the same. You've got to do it. You want to learn something? You've got to fucking learn. Who else is going to do that? It's you. You are the one. See, and no teacher can... What, 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 do you, what do you want from me? If, if you think it's me giving you the knowledge 
Even if I give the knowledge, it's up to you to get it. You see how that works? So then I would invite you to confront that. If you're not responsible, get fucking real with yourself and get responsible. <laughs> yeah, do that. That's something you have to do. I don't think people realize that. And that, that's incredibly powerful. Like if just that alone would change your whole relationship to this shit. See, and then, see, so get responsible and then remember, it's not an, it's not an intellectual thing like just jerking off in your mind or having some great concepts. And what's tricky about concepts is they can really fuck with your perception of reality. And so then your perception and your whole reality can change. You can have a massive state shift that's conceptually induced and not realize it. So you have to, that's the tricky part. And that's all one tricky part anyway. So you got to stay honest with yourself. Am I just fucking around or do I actually get something? And then be real. And that'll help. You avoid this trap that I'm talking about. But I see it more and more. Like, yeah, the, the trap, it's like sort of pervasive. And it, it sinks in. And like, like things start to become a religion or things in the workshops, people start to believe it. And I watch it happen and I go, wait, wait, no, it's, it's like the whole ship, you know, metaphorically speaking, is like starts to move off course, right? Now, it's all these people starting to believe. And I'm like, no, no, no. So then I have to shake it up. I've got to break it up somehow. Otherwise, otherwise they'll be off. And then they're off again in the wrong, for becoming conscious, the wrong direction. They're thinking they have a concept or a belief or a thought about it, or a feeling about it. It's like all this stuff. It's like, um, there's a quote somewhere with a guy like talking about the Zen, you know, working on him becoming enlightened or whatever. And it's like, yes, essentially you can get lost in distractions. The mind can get sent whirling by 10,000 things. You have unlimited distractibility. And so you have to stay vigilant about that and be honest see so be responsible be honest and get conscious know that you can grasp something beyond your own intellect beyond your perspective and that should help otherwise contemplate a fuck ton which is essentially that like wanting to know what's true and that should help all right so there you go avoid this trap good luck out there keep kicking ass much love take care Feel free to hit me up in the comments, write me an email, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Go to the website, look up the workshops, come here and do a workshop. They kick ass. They're incredibly powerful. They will help you move and become more conscious much faster. Also, we have a winter retreat coming up. That's this winter and... Before that, I will be teaching in Holland August 16th through 30th, and then I will be in Swansea, Wales from August 31st to September 1st to do a little weekend workshop. So in Holland, it's martial arts and consciousness. In Swansea, come do some Changshin internal martial arts, and I hope to see you there. Much love. Take care. Till next time. Bye.